Ms. Bennett, you claim that for the last four years, Mr. Grant has been claiming he is not your son, Uriah Jr.'s biological father. Yes, ma'am. You're tired yes, of his doubts and him running away from his responsibility, and you're suing him for $5,000 in back child expenses, yes, correct? Yes, Mr. Grant, you admit you've not been a part of Uriah Jr.'s life because he's not yours. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you claim Ms. Bennett has been dodging the paternity test, and today's results will prove the child is not yours. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Bennett, how has Mr. Grant been running away from his responsibility? I conceived my son on July 19, 2010, on my birthday. We went to the jacuzzi suite. We drunk. We had um, a very great time. We had intercourse. Four to five days later, how I went to work. How can you say you sat there and... I got sick, because I know exactly that I had condom on that night. I know exactly that night. We only just started didn't. messing around. We just started messing We've around. We have been messing around for weeks for by then. A couple weeks by then, yes. Ms. Bennett, you're saying that you didn't use protection that day. No, we didn't, Your Honor. And that's the night you conceived. That's the night. On I your conceived. birthday. On my birthday. You July 19, remember it. 2010. Mr. Grant, you say you did use protection. I know for a fact I used then protection. Then if that's the case, when okay, I wait, showed... were you in a committed relationship? At first we were. Yes. You were. At first we were. All yeah. right. And so you didn't think she was sleeping with anybody else? Not at first. All right. Not at now, first. Now what makes you think she is the whole it? time? Ain't no not at first. The whole time I wasn't. I mean, after like after we started splitting up and everything, I started hearing things, rumors from a few friends that she was sleeping around with a couple people. And know? those people, I don't even know these people that you so... Well, who are I, these so-called well, people? I, I don't even know actually, these so-called people. Like, and I was staying I with you, so if I was cousin, sleeping... Also, I also thought she slept with my cousin. I would have never slept with your cousin. I never yeah, slept with anybody house, besides like, you in your whole I was family. In the streets, Probably honest. in the old... I was in the streets. You I'm know. not gonna lie. I was in the streets. Me and my cousin had a house. I used to leave her there sometimes. Go sit, go live, go stay with my sister, sleep the night at my sister's house. So she used to spend the night at the house with my, my other house with my cousin. So and nothing ever happened. I would have never slept with your cousin. I never slept with your cousin. Never slept with none of your friends. See, no, the only person I have slept with is you. When I showed you the sonogram and told you I was pregnant the day I went to the hospital, you was like, okay. We start picking out names. We start talking about what we was gonna do. At the time, I didn't think about the time frame. I didn't well, think about the time Well, you should have been thinking, the... cause I was. Then I started thinking about it. You cannot... Or other people start thinking about it. Fuck okay, you. tell me. Hey, okay, wait. Explain to me this time frame. You said you weren't thinking about it at first. Then when you start thinking about it, you discovered. Yes, we did what we did on her birthday. But I had a condom on. She says that not too long, maybe four or five days after that, that she went to the doctor and that she found out she was pregnant four or five days after that. When four or five know... days after. After we had sex. Really? Yes. Yes. Back up here. You said. Your birthday was on what? July 19th. July 19th? 2010. All right, My so we got birthday. July 19th. This is your birthday, and this is the night you say you had intercourse, yes. right? Unprotected, the night of that. Yes. <laughs> so, then you said how many days later? Uh, four to five, at least a week. About a... Well, a week is seven days in a week. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three, four, we got... All right, so it's either this or this. You said that's when you discovered you were pregnant. Yes. And you took, what, a home pregnancy test? No, I went to the emergency room because I, I, I thought it was food... How you find out? I thought it was food poisoning. How could you find out you're pregnant but I went five days later? And they gave... Because they gave me a I'm sonogram a father. that said they gave, baby. They gave, and I all, gave you that sonogram that said baby. Okay, listen, I'm a father. Oh. I have kids already. I have two sisters that have six kids apiece. There is no way impossible you could find out if you have a sonogram. So, wh so where I get a sonogram later. from? They had my name on it. Where I get a sonogram from? They no just made possible. me a sonogram does, at the... It, now, look. Just four to five days later, you were given a sonogram? Mm -hmm. And it was a dot. It was a dot on the sonogram. And it was an arrow that I'm said baby. I I, let me just leave. go back to the sonogram, because I'm sitting here thinking, I am a mother, I remember having a sonogram, but I also remember... When you think you're pregnant and you call your OBGYN, you call your doctor, they usually tell you not even to come in until... But it, they only did the because sonogram. Because they can't truly Thank tell. Thank you, Your Honor. Honor they they only give you a window of time. Is it... It's, I think it's like four you're, weeks you're at right, least. You're right. They only did the sonogram because I said that I was having stomach pain. And they said because... I don't believe that. that. I said that I was having no stomach pain. Possible. I don't believe and that. And that I was... They had found out that I was pregnant. They wanted me to do a sonogram to make sure everything was okay. Well, let's, let's be clear. The doctor let's be don't clear. give a sonogram for having pregnant I don't think there necessarily is a question 
whether or not you were pregnant when they performed the sonogram, I think what Mr. Grant is questioning is the timing, meaning were you already pregnant? Yes. If I was already pregnant, I still would have been pregnant by him if I was already pregnant at the end of the day. So, just well, like okay, okay, like that's honor, good. Hold honor. on, you know, I, I, look, I, 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 I like to hear the evidence and I like it to make sense. Okay. So what you're saying is because you were sleeping together several weeks before yes, that as seven, well, yes. that if you were pregnant, it then still was his. it's still There's, Mr. It Grant's. It could have been because we just, we just got together, Your Honor. We, just, we, we were just sleeping together. together for weeks before my yes. birthday came around and no. we went. We was not, yes, we, we were. Yeah, we was probably only sleeping together for maybe about a week before her birth, maybe a week or two before her birthday. Okay, week or two, that still add up. So either way it go, you still the dad and that's what we gonna prove today. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Miss Bennett, was he there for the birth? No, oh, he said left. he was going to be there, but he oh, supposedly, he called his cousin. No, we had an arrangement. When I left, I was in the beginning stages of my pregnancy. I didn't want I her left. to leave, Your Honor. I, I asked her not to leave. He did not ask me not to leave. The only reason she left I left to go with my mom. I started getting back together with my other baby. Yep, mom. he was getting better, back together with I got his back ex, with her. baby mother, but and, we still, supposed to, and we were supposed to be together, but he was, still he was creeping. Sister. He was creeping so there with was, her. She didn't have to go anywhere. She was still living with I wasn't going to stay with your She was living with your sister, and then you tried to get back with your ex? Yes. She, he was, he was, was going back, back over to his ex house. Sister. And I okay. was living at sister's so house. So why him. didn't you show up at the birth if you didn't want her to leave your sister's house? She was gone. She was in North Carolina It's planes. At the birth. It's buses. It's cars. You could have came. I worked. You, you said you was I coming. Worked. It's plenty of ways to come. Your Honor, I worked. Even if you know you work. I worked. You knew when I, I was having my time, stuff. I worked, I so you should have told your job in advance. So what? This one. So let me ask you this. Mr. Grant, no, Mr. Grant, let me ask you this. Did you not show because you had doubts and people were no. in your head and you didn't no. know whether it was, that was yours? That's the reason why I didn't show. I was still working. I was still struggling. I was taking care of stuff myself. So I didn't have it just to just get up and go. Your Honor, at the time. he lied. He had his cousin call me and say he was in jail. I have evidence right here. He was Your in Honor, jail. To say that he was not in Jerome, jail. Will you Your have Honor. me that evidence, please? Yo, I was never in jail. Exactly, but that's what that, he my cousin his cousin that, called me off I'll his phone to and told me that, oh, he's in jail. Mm. And my friend so happened to be driving up the street and seeing him and said, hey, no, he's not in jail. He's right here. I called his phone. I called I his phone. No I sent him pictures. I, told her I didn't I talk no to him idea until, about that until two weeks, probably two weeks after I had my son. So you got a call saying Uriah was senior is in jail and won't be able to make the birth. Yes. Who, who would know. lie and say, say they're you were in, jail. in jail? Out of all things, who would claim that? I didn't know. I didn't. So know also, this that. person just brought it upon themselves to come out of the woodwork. Knew when I was having Listen. a baby, it just caught me. Right, we out wasn't dealing with each other. Just fell out the sky and caught each other. Did. I don't. I have no recollection of what what happened when she called and he had the phone. Okay. Oh. Heard. Okay. All right. So then. He, sh she called. He had the phone. Did he ever tell you that Miss Bennett no, had called he you? He never told me. He never told me. I sent pictures. Never told me. I I, I texted him. But I you knew she was pregnant. Pictures. You never called to say, to say when I, are if you? I had him. Is the baby coming? At the time, no. Miss Bennett, I need to understand your suit. You you're saying he's done nothing for your son. Nothing. Nothing. And Uriah is four years old. Yes, uh, I have. And right you here, saying I four have... years nothing? I That's have crap. his expenses for these four years, Your Honor. He has done nothing for my son at all. Jerome, will you hand like me that evidence, If please? he's not going to be there physically and emotionally, I want him Your to Honor, be there financially. Honestly, I feel like this. Hold on. I'm not about to be there financially if I don't know yet. I'm, I'm near. I talk to him. Yes, I do. When you want we to, talk, I talk you'll, to talk, you'll call him for a couple call, weeks and then you'll stop do, for do months. Do I call, though? But do you'll I stop call? for months I at a time. You're not going to keep coming in back in and out of his life. Because he's a person too. He's to like, get he might be a kid right. now, but I'm not so a father, I don't want him to be confused. What you've presented to the court are expenses. Yes. Associated with raising Uriah for the last four, four years. years food, health care, clothes, shoes, toys, daycare, all expenses related to children. And they total $32,304 the last four years. All now. By myself. The maximum allowable suit in this court is $5,000. Let me be clear. And that is, what is your want. suit. Yes. I want to hear from your witness. Please uh, stand up. 
Hi, Your Honor. Thank you, ma'am. What's your name? Shavira Grant. Ms. Grant, do you believe your brother has a right to doubt? Yes, I honestly do. Like, I, I know, like, I hear rumors that she slept with, you know, a guy I used to talk to. I don't even know this guy. The, the baby looks just like the guy. I don't even it's know just, this it's guy. It's just a coincidence. The baby looks guy. a spitting image of this guy. I don't even know this guy. This Every year she guy stayed with me. Her ex. It was a lot of different guys picking her oh, up. Oh, you're the sister she was staying with. Yes. I stayed with her for a couple months, and anybody, she lived with my sister. She knows. Anybody who came, she knows. anybody who she came and her. got me, or anything, had nothing to do with my son nor they business. So, and I never left my son unattended at no time. I take care of. Oh, because he was always with me. I oh, he was always with me. Three sixty-five days. He was always with me. I, with me. I take great. care of him. Well, let can. let me be clear if about we, your testimony. You said you think. Uriah Jr. looks just like this other guy. Yes, a spitting image. And, I and who is this other this guy? guy? He was some guy I was dealing with years ago. But... You were? Yes. <laughs> how did she meet him? Who... I don't know I'm when she ran. I don't know when she ran across know how I met him, but I heard I don't even know when rumors I met that I'm, she was I'm still waiting to with find the, out when I met guy. him. She see how good our family is. We have. What? I do this by myself 365. Knows, I wouldn't care how y'all family is. He's straight regardless. Right, let's, let's bring it down I, a notch. I, I have three kids. My sister has six. I have another sister that has six kids. I have a brother that has six kids. We're always taking care of our kids. She sees how good my family is. She's always how we together. Okay, so do you, Ms. Grant, have any recollection? Can you put your ex and Miss Bennett together? Why, why, why do you feel like they had a relationship? It just so happens that the little boy looks just like him and the rumors that I hear is the same guy's name. Like, coincidence or not? No, one person tell the next person and everybody and go with that same story. And your brother said at some point you wanted to pay for a DNA test. Oh, yes! Yeah. I gave her money! She's from Buffalo. When she came up there and stayed with my sister for them two months, all she had to do was go downtown. Just like all you business. had to do was go downtown. Yes, you the I one who doubting it, yes, but yet and still, I told you all my information, I gave you everything, and you have not yet went down there. I did not we give you the here. money to go you downtown. Did, you did, you did. You want your couple dollars back? You want your couple dollars back? Did we get any papers? At the time, I was working. At the time, I was working. Let's calm down. Thank you for your testimony, Ms. Grant. You may be seated. Mr. Grant. Have you done anything for this child? Did okay, you bring any evidence to court? No, I didn't. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, we just had a storm, a bad storm out there in Buffalo, New York, over the winter, and a lot of my papers were in my mother's basement, and she, her pipes busted. So, like, the pitch, a lot of pictures they wanted me to bring here, a lot of my papers and everything, I could I don't have, they all got destroyed. But his first year he was born, me and my sister sent packages, we sent money. I, said, I, I didn't send a lot of money. I might be sent package. close to $500. Three. And uh, we sent to be packages. exact, from me. A we package. definitely sent packages. We were sending, like his first year, we, we were. I now, when you were sending these packages, were you doubting whether or yes. not it was your child? I was still doubting at the time that when you we never were told me packages. you was doubting. You didn't tell me you was doubting until my son was, what, almost a year? Six, seven months, maybe almost. close to a year. You heard what she said, a almost year. a year. Miss Bennett, I know and I can tell that family is very important to you. I didn't have my dad. I would like him to grow up. And as a young African American man, she that's what they need. They they need that she whole family. They need that, that they father. need she that needed. dad in their life. And I just want him to, to see to have better than what I had. I had a good life, even though I didn't have my dad, but I want him to have a great that's life. That's why she wants me around. What? Please, I've been taking care of myself forever, and it's gonna continue like that. I don't need a man for nothing. Sure, Not even to take care of my that's son. I just want you to do what's what you need to do, what you are responsible I'm a good to. Father, do. if he's mine, then I will. Honestly, she really don't know. And I do if he's know. not mine, I, I want a countersuit for motion to get my name back oh. if he's not mine. All right. With that said, Jerome, I'm ready for the results. Thank you, Your Honor. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Bennett versus Grant, it has been determined by this court in the case of Bennett versus Grant, pertaining to four-year-old Uriah Grant Jr., it has been determined by this court, Mr. Grant, you are Uriah Jr. <laughs> I told you, I told you, I told you. Can I get an apology? Oh, I told you, I told you. Oh, 
told you. I told you. That's all I uh, wanted. That's all I wanted. Okay. It's just an uh, apology. I told you. I told you I would never do that to you. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. It seems like you're a little bit emotional. You happy yeah. to finally know? Yeah. My son, I'm happy. Oh, I always good. knew this. I'm ecstatic because I already knew this. I already knew this. This is just wonderful that now you know. So. Well, that's why this court exists. You know, life takes us through ups, downs, changes. We all make mistakes. But ultimately, if you can come together for the truth, that's how we can clear the slate and begin again. Now, you also had a suit, and it was dependent upon whether or not, Mr. Grant, you were Uriah's biological father, and you are. Uh, plaintiff, you said you were suing uh, for $5,000 because you had spent $32,304 yes, on expenses for the last four years. Uh, I am gonna award you that $5,000. Thank you, uh, Because that's the maximum this court can award. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Currington, you claim during a torrid, older, younger love affair, the defendant fathered your five-month-old daughter, Kaora. Once today's results prove he is the father, you want him to stop denying and take full responsibility. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Kim Larson, you and your daughter say that the plaintiff may be young, but is a known playgirl and claims you are the father only for financial gain. You are positive today's results will prove you are not the biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Honor. So, Ms. Currington, how upset does it make you feel that Mr. Kim Larson denies your daughter? It makes me feel pissed off. Because we planned this baby. You planned the baby? Yes, we did. What was said? He wanted to have a baby by me. And that was that. And we kept trying and trying and trying. And now that the baby's here, he denies the baby? Yes, because I'm in another relationship. Oh. oh. Mr. Kim Larson, you deny this baby. You say this baby's not yours. Yes, Honor. I can explain that to you. She's a player. She's unpredictable. She played a game with my emotion. She plotted. Oh, you say she plotted? Yes. So you think she did all of this on purpose? Yes. Did you plan to have a baby together? Were you trying to have a baby? No, Honor. You were not? No. Were you using protection? No. Then you were planning to have a baby. Your Honor. No, you, you told me. Can he I say something? He wait, hold on. Wait. Condoms. What'd you say? He said he don't believe in condoms. Oh. So... But you told me you, you was on birth control. Oh. Yes. So... And so you had your hand up, Miss Larson. Yes. You are his daughter. Yes, ma'am. And so what is your understanding of this? Um, so... I know these types of women. Um, they prey <laughs> on men like this, like, um, kind-hearted, um, very openly... Um, and she took advantage of my dad. We don't even know if it's, you know, if that's my dad's baby because she be messing around in the streets. So how are we supposed to know for sure if that's my dad's baby or not? So that's why we here. So, Ms. Currington, how did you even meet and I met start Ian. a relationship with a man that's Ian. almost 25 years older than you? I met Ian at the hotel. He, he came in, he approached me, asked me if I seen his girlfriend at that time. And I said, no, but I will help you look for her. So we walked in, you know, walked in the hallways and every, knocked on bam on every door. Okay. What made you want to help him look for his girlfriend? Because I was being nice at the time. You were being nice? Mm -hmm. Promiscuous. So he, so uh -oh. wait, no, a honest, man... She, no, honest, she took an opportunity. She thought I was Asian. First she off, thought I had a money. That first she off, thought I had money. She took advantage of me, so... He exposed his income. He did all it. I take care of you and your son. Oh. So he told me he had two cars so that he... I could drive one. Oh, he was giving an arrangement yeah. out. He was, mm -hmm. he was giving out benefits. Yes. And you were taking them. Yes, because he said he liked black women. Oh. oh, and so you had thought you found yourself a nice little sugar daddy, little older man that was going to do for you and your son. Mm-hmm. I decided to follow along. 
see how far she go with this. Mm. Oh, you're saying you actually started to really fall in love. Like, you were thought you were having a real relationship. Yeah, we got connected. We, uh, I met her at the hotel. She approached me, and, and we just clicked. We developed a relationship. And she you approached me about your girlfriend at that time. Oh, yeah, I forgot, Honor. But anyway. <laughs> you forgot that but girlfriend anyway, Honor, already? But, sorry, Honor, but something about her, I was attracted to her. I he thought I trusted her. What, what do you mean? But anyway, Honor. I said Honor, I want the Honor, truth. Honor, we met her at the hotel. But Miss Carrington just give me, like, the, um, the rated, rated G, PG truth. She was nice looking. So he was nice looking. Yeah. And so you were interested in him when yes. you helped him look mm-hmm. for his girlfriend. Yeah, yes. honestly. Hoping money he hunter. wouldn't find her. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Got it. So Yeah, the... I seen him pull up in that nice car. I'm like, mm, who is that? So he... to find out he come in here looking for his girlfriend. Oh, you saw him pull up before he even got in the hotel. Yes. Oh, and so you saw him pull up in a nice car, so you said, oh, look at him, look at him, get out his little yeah. cute car. And you thought he was handsome. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, so, oh, look at you with your little muscles, Mr. Lark. <laughs> Thanks, Honor. Thanks, Honor. I'm very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> you better go ahead. He said, Thanks, I'm very attractive. You better go ahead with some self esteem. We love self esteem in this you. courtroom. So you had your little muscles, and so you saw him get out, and you were like, he's handsome. I'm going to help you look for your girlfriend, hoping we can't find her. Yes, and he looked me up and down, because, you know, I had on booty shorts and everything. So he looked me up and down. He was like, ooh, you thick. (laughs) (laughs) That's true, Honor. I was attracted to her thickness. You can't make this up. (laughs) So that was true. She's not lying. No, so I... you said, Mr. Kim Larson, you told Miss Carrington, you say, ooh, you thick. <laughs> well, within two weeks, she moved in. She moved in my place. Within two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. Because we I bought it. I moved in his place two days later and drove his car after I met him at the hotel. He had me drive his car to his house. Oh, so the cute car you saw him pull up in, he was letting you drive it? Yes. <laughs> And she took advantage. Yeah, okay? she took advantage. He because... let me. He was giving it to me like that. He she had her cousins me. up in there, her whatever extra boyfriend she had at the time. Also, my neighbor mm-hmm. been calling me saying that she had multiple guys in my house. Whoever, I don't know what to believe. Did you have other men at the house, Miss Currington? Yes, I did, but they was my cousins. They were your cousins? Yes, Your Honor. So this were family members? Yes. And they were up in Mr. Larson's house? Yes. Without my knowledge, Honor. Without your knowledge? Yeah. So at some point, you find out you're pregnant? Yes. I moved... Well, okay. I moved to Indiana. So wait, you break up? Yeah, we broke up. I moved to Indiana. I was there for like a week. Why'd you break up? I thought this was going well. Honor, because we broke up because she had multiple guys. I don't trust her. She's... Caneve, and she's... And I can trust self. her. He... Excuse me, girl. Okay. He... <laughs> she's naive. I don't trust her. But did she just leave Mr. Kim Larson or did you just kick her out because she had more and multiple men in, in the apartment? We all left because he got evicted. <gasps> Miss Currington, were you having a relationship with anybody else at that time when you left? No. I just had a one-night stand. She a lie. <laughs> Last time I checked, she was dating some old man. I don't know. He and looked I 40 am. to 50. And I you know, am years am. old. But like, your dad is 40 to 50. Yeah, but he older. I think... And he's he not 60, mature either. 60, I'm more mature than 60. him. What do you mean? <laughs> you call that mature? <laughs> so, <laughs> so hold on. Miss Currington, you say there was a one-night stand. With one other man. With one other man. And this man happened right after you moved out of the house and after went to you got Indiana. evicted? Yes, Your Honor. And, and what? When I went to Indiana. When you went to Indiana? Yes. How soon after that did you find out you were pregnant? I found out I was pregnant when I moved back when Ann sent me money to come back. Oh. And this is his exact words. Oh, I'm gonna send you the money to come back so we could be a happy family and this and that and... But wait, at this point, did he know you had had the one-night stand with somebody else? Yeah, he knew. He knew, because I told him. Did you know about the one-night stand, Mr. Larson? Yes, Honor, when she was at Indiana. 
when she was in India. Yeah, but she does. So who's the racist? Who 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 she mess around with? You don't. That's your baby. Simple as that. Okay. So did you have any doubts because of the one night stand? Did you doubt that you could be Kaora's biological father? Yeah, I always had doubts. Three pregnancies. Did you show up for the birth? Yes, yes he did. Did you cut the umbilical cord? Yes, yes Sarah. he did. Between that time when she was pregnant, she was with this guy pretty much through the whole term. And I'm still is. Yeah, Getting she married still too, is. September 1st. Oh, so that guy is the same guy you're with and you're gonna marry? Yes, and he's been taking care of her throughout this whole journey. Because you won't let my dad see her. First off, he don't you want keep, to. You keep... He I'm ain't not even take care of you. Messages up, but you was like... Something about you just trying to get my dad on child support, period. Because he's not doing nothing. Because what you, you keep expect? taking her away. How is he supposed to do something I live when in he another can't state? travel all the way to Chicago all the okay. time? Y'all need an agreement or something, He's the right? one with the car, not me. Oh, well, then that's your problem, then. That's so his hold problem. on. He can't come. So at the birth, you let him cut the umbilical cord? Yes, I did. Did you also allow him to sign the birth certificate? Did you want to sign the birth certificate? Yes, because... He I didn't want to. He, no honor. He didn't I was want to. Right he started cussing me out because I was on the phone with the person I'm with now. No honor. And I was at the hospital. he got kicked out the hospital. The security guards kicked him out and had to move me to another room because he, oh, why are you on the phone with him and this is our time and this and that. You so got he kicked out the hospital, Mr. No, Larson? Yes, he did. What well, half true is true, but that's... But I was there, so she told me to leave. So I got upset. I slammed the door. She said she's going to call the security because I, I was acting... Rude. Rude. Out yes. of control. Yeah. And so you didn't ever sign the birth certificate? No. So since the baby's been born, do you have a relationship with Kaora, Mr. Kim Larson? No, because he don't want to be around a person I'm with now. He figured he should take care of her instead of him. Well, are you taking care of her? I still doubtful, but I still send her money to help her out. You do? Yes. No, he do not. <laughs> so you say he's not sending any money? No. To help with Kaora? No. So, Mr. Kim Larson, are you still in love with Miss Currington? Yes. <laughs> yes. And you really want to be back together with her? Yes. And if I don't go back to him, he's not going to do for her. Ain't that what your exact words was? Not true, honor. I have to be with him in order for him to want to take care of her. Your honor, this is the confusing part. How she let my dad see the baby whenever she feels like he... He, uh, I let him see, see it her. when I come to Iowa. It? Her. Okay, her. Thank you. I work. <laughs> oh, for once? I can tell, Ms. Larson, you aren't a fan. No. Mm -mm. My daughter told me that she's not going to get attached to this baby till... Until I know that. Yeah. That's my dad's child. I don't have time and to even wait. Even when it, when it do come out, she's not going to be around here. He could, not her. That's just how I feel. And you have no doubts, though, that Mr. Kim Larson is Kaora's biological father? All right. This is very interesting. A mess. Very. <clears throat> yeah. I, I'm, I'm being kind to say interesting because I feel like, Mr. Larson, you do understand you're dating a young woman that's younger than your daughter. Plenty of them. I'm not the only one. I, I, I believe you. <laughs> Listening to this whole M.O., I believe you. And you sitting up, perched up, Mr. Larson, for a young girl who's looking for a man to take care of him, and you offering it all up, and they taking it. Laugh now, cry later. Laugh now, cry later. That's what she says. No! What I found interesting was... It was laugh now, cry later. But, you know, since this courtroom is all about the child, I took that a little further. Because grown people, they do all the laughing. And it's all hee hee, ha ha, and I'm gonna go with this man and I can use his car and I'm gonna get this young girl in my house and all that you all did. 
But K.R.'s the one really crying because she's five months old and she's lived for five months without the certainty of a father where this man is denying her and you all back and forth in an unnecessary tit for tat. So yeah, it's laugh now, cry later. And the babies cry. That's why we're here to protect them. And I have these results and it's time that we get them for K.R. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Currington versus Kim Larson, when it comes to five-month-old Kaora Currington, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Kim Larson, you are the father. Dad. Dad. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No. You, you already knew that. That makes you emotional to hear, Mr. Kim Larson? Yes, Honor. And why is that? I don't know how to expect. You're happy that she's your little girl or you're just happy this, you know the truth? What are you feeling? I know the truth, Honor. What is it you feel when you look at her? I want to hold her. I want to see her every day. Those are emotions that dads feel. I want to hold her. I want to see her every day. 